In 1955, the world of theater changed forever. Samuel Beckett premiered his play Waiting for Godot, which has since been regarded as the most important play of the 20th century. It also happens to be a play where nothing happens. And I don't know about you, but when I think about the most important play, nothingness isn't quite the first or even the last plot line that comes to mind. So how is it that a play about nothing is considered to be so important? The play revolves around the characters Estragon and Vladimir, who are waiting for someone or something named Gatto. Neither character is certain if they've ever met Gatto before, nor do they know if the mysterious Gatto will ever arrive. The audience joins the duo in their anticipation for something or rather for anything to happen. In the end, despite sending word of his arrival, Gatto ultimately never appears. Because of the utter simplicity of the play, it's stirred up quite a frenzy in the minds of many, and there have been numerous interpretations of the work. Beckett would eventually go on to win the Nobel Prize in 1969. Beckett's play, and its many violations of theatrical norms, strips away plot expectations to make a comment on the human condition. Gatto symbolizes whatever we wait for, whatever we long for, whatever we rely on to save us from our current state of uncertainty and despair. Gatto represents the promise of what might come on the other side of our waiting. Some have speculated that the play represents man's inexhaustible quest for meaning. Others believe that Gatto represents God, which Beckett himself vehemently rejected. Part of the reason the play has baffled so many is that Beckett refused to endorse any interpretation of the work. In fact, Beckett asked the public to stop trying to analyze the play. It's almost as if the play probes so deeply into the human condition that the audience can't help but to analyze it for a deeper meaning. And perhaps Beckett himself was aware of this as he was writing the play, and the work really is just making a mockery of its own audience and of the human condition. With all of the possible explanations for the play, one thing we can say for certain is that it explores the act of waiting, or perhaps I should rephrase that as the art of waiting. Life is often symbolized as a waiting room. In a world enticed by incessant action, waiting creates a sentiment of futility, almost as if time spent waiting is wasted time. I remember seeing this play for the first time, and as it was ending, I thought to myself, what did I just watch? Whether the play is good or bad, I think is irrelevant, because in either case, it certainly was impressionable. Waiting for Gatto showcases a different view of waiting, of passing time, and it calls into question whether time truly can be wasted. As human beings, of course, we're made of blood, flesh, and water, but we're also made out of time in a certain sense. And so even though we ultimately never meet Gatto, and even in the seeming nothingness of the play, we can't actually say that nothing happened because even in the act of waiting, life continues. While some may view the experience of Estragon and Vladimir as torturous as purgatory, the two carry on interesting and funny conversations that, firstly, fill an entire play, and secondly, could have only been imagined out of a space that allowed them the time to be present with their thoughts and with each other. The play seems to be an outward manifestation of our anxious minds. As we wait, We're in the company of our unanswered questions, which certainly can unearth fears, but I think it can also reveal joys as well. Waiting tends to be seen as a trial of endurance, but it can also be a space for transformation if we so allow. The most enlightening message from Waiting for Gatto can be extracted from lines that are repeated throughout the play. Nothing to be done. Life could be nothing more than a waiting room, but this waiting room asks nothing more of us than to simply experience it. And when all of the waiting of our lives is finally over, it could be the waiting 
that we miss most about it. So that concludes my thoughts on Waiting for Gatto. Please let me know, have you seen or read the play? What was your interpretation of it? As always, thank you for watching and thank you to my top patrons.